punishment is for everyone, adults, teenagers, and even children. Federal security service officers detained 19-year-old Alexander and 16-year-old Lyubov in Chita, Russia. Teenagers were painting graffiti, death to the regime on garages. There were evidence against us before this. We discussed it in our chat on social media. Furthermore, we have our own Telegram channels on which we opposed the current regime, Lyubov Lizunova, for the resource current time. The court chose a preventive measure for teenagers in the form of the obligation not to leave the city. They are also charged with three criminal articles and face up to five years in prison, the Sibir Reali resource writes. The main thing I'm worried about is that now all the prisoners are being mobilized into the Wagner PMC, and I, of course, do not want to get there. I will not fight anyway, I will not kill people. So far, I hope that people charged with political criminal cases are not forced to recruit there. Alexander Snishkov for the resource current time. And this is a 19-year-old student, Alessia Kravtsova. She is in the dock for writing anti-war posts in social networks. In early January, the girl was placed under house arrest as a preventive measure. The articles are charged with discrediting the armed forces of Russia and justifying terrorism. She was allowed to use the Internet only for her studies, and she was also forbidden to receive posts. Now the authorities act very selectively. I am saying for now, because I am afraid that as this resistance grows, the measures taken by authorities will be tougher, and we will see the most Stalinist scales. And this is very scary, but I am afraid that this is the most likely scenario for the development of events. Human rights activists in Russia also expect such a scenario. A lawyer, Leonid Krikun, from St. Petersburg, who acted as a defender in the cases of many oppositionists, left Russia at the end of 2022. According to Suta, Krikun left the country for fear of persecution. Later, the lawyer commented on his departure from the country on his Facebook page. He attached a captivating photo to his post. I made the decision to leave, realizing that I was leaving all my relatives and friends, that in a new place I had no language, no money, no housing, no demanded speciality or prospects for getting at least some kind of job in the near future. But for me, everything is clear. I have determined for myself where courage and heroism are and where betrayal and cowardice are. Leonid Krikun, advocate, on Facebook. Public organizations also fall under the disgrace of the Putin's regime. So, Roskomnadzor blocked the Ukrainian Women's Guard website on New Year's Eve. This was reported by the non-governmental project Roskom Svoboda. This organization trains women in self-defense and talks about the war. I hear messages that someone is already whispering to Putin. It is time to close everything, each social media. Indeed, it is in Iran, the ceiling of the country, the Iron Curtain. And Putin doesn't exclude that he will resort to such a method in the future. But a lot depends on the course of the war and hostilities. But according to the expert, for the time being, Putin's propagandists on YouTube do not allow to completely close all the resources in the country because they use the service in their own interest. And more radical methods of repression in Russia can be resorted to only when they see that support for Putin among the population is declining, although even now this figure is small, about 20 percent, Andrei Ostalsky says. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Nelly Yanchuk, UATV News.